if I had to ski down on one ski. Look what you've done to me, Argentina. Don't come and ski in Argentina. The views are not that impressive. Welcome to Bariloche. Came in last night from Buenos Aires. It took basically all day to travel here. I was worried that there was not going to be enough snow because five days ago, the base of the mountain looked like this. But they got pounded with snow for three days when we were in Buenos Aires. Let's check it out. We're not even at the base here. and want to rent a car like we did, you really need to know how to drive stick because that's pretty much all they have here. Five days ago there was no snow at the base. Check out how much fell in the past three days. is actually the town. The resort itself is called Cerro Catedral. It's got 1150 meters of vertical drop and 1480 skilo acres. From perspective, compared to resorts in North America, it's twice the vertical drop of a place like Mont Tremblant and twice the skilo acreage. But when you go out west to a resort like Snowbird, it's slightly more vertical drop, but only 60% of the skiboy acreage. There's one gondola, one tram, one high-speed six-person lift, and the rest are all older, slower, fixed two- or three-person lifts. Our original plan was to go to Chile this week, but we came here instead. I think all the Argentinians would like that. Chile is great, but go to Argentina. The mini mall here at the base of the mountain has a lot of stores. The store is called Co Gear, which I think is the best ski store I've ever seen. We were just looking at some coats and jackets. She likes three jackets. Out of nowhere, the store owner gave us some shots of alcohol free Jägermeister. And we had a whole stash of alcohol in there. I have not seen that before in the US or anywhere, really. The owner there is awesome. His name is Herb. Herbert, the name of Herbert, I, I'm probably just pronouncing it. But I think he's chosen the best gear of all the collections to sell there. I like everything in there, whether it's Burton or Pure Organic. It's an awesome spot. Definitely go there if you're here. And did we buy the jackets? Yeah, we bought the jackets. In the description below, we'll put a ranking of all the empanada places we hit on our Argentina empanada experience. That way you have a heads up on where you may want to go and where you may want to avoid. The best place was Punta Princesa, which is a small cafeteria up on the mountain at Cerro Catedral. The caveat is that it was a chicken empanada. And the absolute worst was El Filo Cafe Bar in the mini mall at the base of Cerro Catedral. It was just pure ground beef. I would not eat it even if you gave it to me for free. It was absolutely horrible. This is my first time in South America, and I speak no Spanish, only French and English. The Spanish that I have learned is la cuanto, por favor. Actually, it's la quinto, la cuenta. But then she started talking to me about cuanto, and now I mix the two up all the time. Every time we need to check, I say la cuanto. I'm very simple-minded. I just need the one word. But you give me two, I'm totally lost. Cerro Catedral is the third resort we've been to that has a view of a lake. So I think it is an opportune time to revisit our rankings of resorts with lake views. The three contenders are Treble Cone in New Zealand, which has a view of Lake Wanaka, Heavenly Mountain Resort in the U.S., which has a view of Lake Tahoe, and right here, Cerro Catedral in Argentina, which has a view of three lakes. Three. I'm going to cheat a little bit and limit my rankings to when you have full snow at every resort. I would put Cerro Catedral at number one because the mountains are so jagged that the snow is there, it's beautiful, and then everywhere you look, you see a lake because you have three lakes. But Treble Cone is number two because even when there's full snow, you still have that snow grass line, which I really love. The lack of trees is unique, it really does it for me. Heavenly at number three, totally a beautiful view. And how can you not love this? Skiing in July, it's very tough to be.
Another thing we noticed here, they're so sweet and friendly, and you talk the whole lift right up. The lift lines are far less organized in the U.S. You don't have somebody who marshals everybody onto the chair, but everybody is polite to each other. There's no pushing or shoving. Yeah, there's a lot more harmony. It's great. And you always get a maravilloso view. Maravilloso? Check it out. Thank you.